Hey folks, James from Pseudorite here. I want to talk about world building and how we can use the Pseudorite AI to help ideate characters. One advanced trick for this is to make a world building document where you can put little bits and pieces about what your story is about and work with the AI to come up with different ideas for a character. I recently caught up with IS Lee, the author of Our Child. I'll put the link in the description. And he was gracious enough to work with me to ideate a new character that he's working on for a sequel of his novel. Now, before we jump in, I'll, uh, I'll show you how to actually get this world building document started. So first off, what we want to do is get a crisp log line for your story, whether this is a short story or a novel, just a something that you would find uh, in a query letter or in the jacket of, a, of the book itself that sums up the story. This will give the AI context to work with. And I like to put three little hash marks after that so that we clearly delineate to the AI that we're going to be doing some world building. So next what you can do is here type in some character descriptions. So let's say Jane, who is the captain of the ship. And what we can do now is just start interrogating the AI, have the AI work as an almost sparring partner with you to develop this character. Now let's jump into the session that I had with IS Lee about this. Not quite. So you feel like this character is kind of flat, 2D, like you want to like add some of these things. Um, mm. uh, the gaze upon him describe him as oh, this is yeah. another way of okay. like <sighs> there you go it's almost the like Mad Lugs, right from the waist up his body is that of a man while he's, he's effectively dressed and groomed his chestnut hair combed back in a sleek mane his long nails this, manicured Ooh, that's this good. is really good <laughs> yeah i mean because yeah. actually you know the, the 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 mayan god is does take the shape of a jaguar so so oh, it, okay yeah it's written okay, well there, you so. have that it's written there yeah yeah. Uh, so it is definitely a pulling on an eerily beautiful, a fierce and beautiful creature with an air of mystical. But I like this. Uh, yeah. I wonder what will happen if we just do describe on this. Probably have enough already, but if you just wanted to get more variance on that um, in different uh, ways, I don't know what, what his smell is. Can you smell an AI gun? Probably. <laughs> uh, maybe in the underworld you can. Yeah. His feet yeah. callous and his nails long. He wears a necklace. Now he has a ponytail. <laughs> okay. Um, but 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 the intent of describe is to give variance, so it's not necessarily to make it a uh, cohesive. Uh, yeah, interesting. Cream colored silk suit. <laughs> His nails. Yeah. Oh, flower scented oil. There's a musky earthy scent. A unique fragrance of a jungle cat. Mm. I don't it's know. Good. I've never smelled a jungle cat. But I, I I I'm convinced that maybe it's musky. Earthy scent. Yeah, musky and earthy scent, <laughs> probably, yeah. His mane is rich and heavy, but not unkempt. His laugh is reminiscent of waves cresting on a shore. So, uh, this one doesn't quite track. His breath is minty fresh. <laughs> <laughs> His lips are soft and inviting. I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, <laughs> uh, but as you can see, like you can just keep, keep going here, and then he is pale as pumice, and as a brown as a wheel. <laughs> Oh, but, tailored but, from the hide of an elderly jaguar. The mustache was fit, not an errant pair. His teeth and nails were gleaming obsidian and enamel gold. It's cool. It's really nice. It's a great language, right? I mean, this, yeah. it is following the tone of kind of uh, you're pulling in like yeah, the uh, the Aztec like mm -hmm. uh, descriptions. And I don't know if you actually looked. Maybe you read passages of Aztec descriptions and tried to pull that in. But now the AI is sort of riffing on that, right? So it kind of what you were talking about, like a sparring partner. Um, yeah. Color of a blur blackbird's wing. That's interesting. Hmm. So I myself, I'm actually really bad at description. I think that's my my kind of weaker weaker like writer point. So I I love this kind of stuff because it helps me like okay like get you know get going get my brain going into that particular world. Um, yeah, but yeah, you know I, this is this I, one thing I, I is like description, this... right? Yeah. I like this, um, you know, the, the prompting 
uh, technique is, 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 is really clever here. So that, that's, uh, that's something that uh, I, hadn't, I hadn't used before. And, and I can see now how useful it is to, to, you know, this, like you've done here, those that have gazed upon him, describe, describe him as. It, it's a way of kind of like getting the, what you want out of the, out of the, um, uh, out of Sudorite, even if ultimately you're not going to keep that, that prompt in, in, right. in, in, the, in yeah. the final text. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I almost say like working with these language models, it's almost like you have to sometimes make these synthetic scenes. Mm. Um, and this is almost like a little synthetic scene. Like you maybe ha would appear in a book, right? Uh, and you're mm. sort of triggering the AI into a particular way. Um, I mean, another thing is, like, let's say you want backstory, right? Um, uh, yeah, like you could say in his harried past, comma. Mm. Um, gifted energy engineer and a charismatic priest <laughs> manage the infrastructure of Cloudburst the server that yeah. he, he, oh, yeah. Yeah. he feels responsible for the catastrophe is motivated to protect his guests um, so that's another way to elicit sort of backstory and another, and another favorite one of mine is um, uh, but, but there is a secret that no one knows about him, not mm. even his closest friends. Colon, mm. what is the secret? AI. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's aware that simulation. No, it's not. Like, he has become a drug addict. <laughs> Interesting. Hey. He is a covert Andrew and Michael Green. It's like <laughs> maybe it's. It, this is actually probably a clue for your comps. <laughs> like you're, you're. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, you probably have like some. It's eliciting like, okay, this feels like a Crichton novel, <laughs> which actually now it does remind me. This, this does feel a little bit Crichton-esque because I think you're pulling the Aztec stuff. Um, mm -hmm. uh, okay, it's interesting. I mean, you can try this again. Let's see. Uh, we get another. Oh, that he has a secret corrupted version of himself installed on each of the guest consciousness. Oh, look at that. Yeah, to create a popular version for his own personal use. Uh huh. Who go there? He was once a true Avos deactivated and kept in cold storage. Hmm? It's not really a tracking. Oh, fatal illness, and he's been using his power to manipulate to bring about his death. Hmm. Maybe to avoid his death uh, hmm. would make more sense here. Um, yeah. But that could be an interesting story point for him. Yeah. Because uh, I always like to think about, like, yeah, what is the secret that. Is not mm -hmm. going to be. It's a question that may be answered later in the novel, and that's a good way for you to sort of hook into like, oh, this could hold. This could be a whole arc, right? And yeah. I think in your first first draft, like these kinds of playful things that the AI could give you could be seeds that could grow, or 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 show you things that you don't want to do. So that's the other thing about these mm -hmm. cards. Like, it's like, yeah, he's not. He's not like that. So sort of rule that out. But you know. The fact yeah. that the AI sort of reflected on that and thought this was possible might mm. be might reveal something about how you're like setting up this character. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you know, could also like maybe there's something you should change. Is that, mm -hmm. So that's I understand another thing is that sort of the negative space of the AI because it can sort of tell you what it thinks and you're like, that's not what I thought. But if like probabilistically you think that that's going to happen next. Maybe mm. there's something I'm projecting in the subtext that I don't want to project. So you want to actually yeah. suppress something, right? Um, yeah. But yeah, anyway, so hopefully this would give you some idea of like using this prompting technique for characters. And so this is just one example of the types of questions that you can ask the AI. But there's so much more that you can do. You can write backstories. You could have it help you fill out a diary uh, entry for the character. Uh, or even interrogate the character by making a, a little chat dialogue with it. Uh, so there's a lot of things that you can do. This is just uh, one idea. Let us know if you have more ideas for fleshing out characters using Pseudorite. Happy writing!